Hey everyone, it's the Ionic Guy. You join me today in my Ionic 5. Today's video is going to be a list of the top five reasons why I think you should buy a Hyundai Ionic 5 or would want to buy an Ionic 5. In a week from today, I'm gonna to post another video with the top five reasons why I don't think you should buy a Hyundai Ionic 5 or want to buy an Ionic 5. But without further ado, let's get into the list. So my number one reason why I think you should consider buying an Ionic 5 versus any other EV is obvious, it's the DC fast charging speed. So if you're a frequent road tripper, if you do a lot of long distance driving, charging speed is probably gonna be your biggest concern with an EV. And the Ionic 5 has it in spades. So with the Ionic 5 in a DC fast charger capable of outputting over 250 kilowatts, you should be able to pull at maximum charging speed roughly 240 kilowatts. Now the stars do have to align for this to happen. You have to have a DC fast charger that is not being derated or slowed down because of the station itself and any issues that it has. And your car also has to have the battery preconditioned to the ideal temperature that it wants to be at to receive all of that charging power. And that temperature is between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The further you are away from that temperature range, the slower the charging will be. So if you show up to a charging station with all of these things ready to rock and roll, then you should be able to charge this car from 10 to 80% in just about 18 minutes. And that is class leading when you consider the fact that this car starts in the low $30,000 range when factoring in all the benefits from either Hyundai or your local government. And I say local government because this car does not qualify for the $7,500 tax credit from the federal government. But later this year, Hyundai is going to begin manufacturing this car in the United States. So it might be returning, but it doesn't really matter because Hyundai is currently passing along that $7,500 tax credit as cash on the hood if you decide to pay cash for the vehicle or as a capital cost reduction if you lease it. So what happens if the stars don't align and you show up to a DC fast charger and maybe your battery is cold? Well, in my experience, having a cold battery, which is because of the fact when I bought my 2022 Ionic 5, it did not have battery preconditioning from the factory. So we got that as a software update later, but the few times that I did DC fast charge with a cold battery, the battery pack does warm up relatively quickly and I could go 10 to 80% in about a half an hour. So yes, it's about 12 minutes slower, but is it that much slower? No. 30 minutes is still faster than many of its competitors. And what allows this to happen is the fact that this car has a 800 volt battery and that is double many of its competitors. And what that allows is it to charge with half as much current as other competitors, which means you can take more current from the same charging station that a 400 volt battery vehicle is using. And that's why your charging speed of 240 kilowatts is roughly double that of some of its 400 volt competitors. I have road tripped my Ionic 5 and this thing is a charging beast. In some situations, you can get two Ionic 5s or other eGMP platform vehicles charged in the same amount of time that it would take some of its competitors. So it's very impressive and I think it's the number one reason you should consider an Ionic 5. The number two reason I think you should purchase an Ionic 5 is for me, the styling. I love the styling of this car. I love the retro futuristic kind of look, the angular lines, the crease in the door, the pixelated lights. I think it's just a very sharp looking car. And three years later, I still think it looks good. I think some of its competitors also look good, but I still think the Ionic 5 is a standout. And Hyundai is implementing this design language with the pixels in most of its other EVs. We even see it in the Kona electric, which isn't even part of the Ionic lineup. So expect this design language to continue in all of its future EVs and it's even starting to cross over into its gas powered cars as well. I know a lot of Hyundai's designs are polarizing these days. You either love them or you hate them, but I'm a huge fan of the design. The third reason why I think you should buy an Ionic 5 is it is a much different driving experience with this car versus other EVs. And the reason I say that is because of the regen paddle shifters that are located behind the wheel. We don't see this level of granularity with controlling your regen braking in any other EV. And it is really cool. Think of it as downshifting or upshifting in a traditional gas car. So if you're going down a hill, you can be coasting. And if you pick up too much speed, you can dial in a little bit of regen braking. If you're still going a little too fast, click it one more time, slow down a little bit more, 
regain all that energy back into the battery pack. And it does keep you more engaged with driving your vehicle, which I personally do like. I've tested other EVs that either have only a coast mode or a regen braking mode, and I never really got super comfortable with them. I just really enjoy Hyundai Kia's implementation of regenerative braking. I think they really knocked it out of the park. I really hope they continue using it in all their future EVs. I love iPedal, which is one pedal driving, which means you can basically just use the accelerator pedal to accelerate and decelerate to a full stop. I really love not moving my foot back and forth between the brake pedal in the accelerator. Beyond just having stepped levels of regen, you also have auto regen, which will use things like topography as well as vehicles in front of you to adjust the regen in all of those different situations. So if you want a more hands-off experience, you can hold down the right paddle for a few seconds and it will engage auto. And then you also have multiple levels of auto. So there's just so many ways to drive this car. And I really think you'll find one that you really enjoy. Now, not everybody's going to enjoy iPedal, namely passengers. Some people get kind of motion sickness. They feel it's a little herky-jerky, but I will say when you are the person in control, it's great. My fourth reason why you should consider buying an Ionic 5 is comfort and quietness. Look at this cabin. It is so open. My legs have so much space in here. I'm super comfortable. I can sit back. I'm in more of a SUV seating position, so my legs aren't up too high and aren't sticking out too far. Very comfortable, big armrest, very good visibility out of this car. There's not a whole lot of blind spot going on here. Plenty of left foot room on the dead pedal. I just love being in here. It's so comfortable, it's not claustrophobic. I've been in some other EVs, namely the Polestar 2, and it is just a very cramped experience. I did not feel comfortable in that car at all. They were building a rounded drive tunnel because it is a gas car platform, so they did have that limitation. But here in the Ionic 5, you do not have that limitation because this car was designed as an EV first. No drive tunnel, no transmission housing, all that is completely eliminated, so you have a completely flat floor. And in the top limited trim of the Ionic 5 here in the US, the center console can be moved forward and backwards. If you're in a tight parking spot and can't get out of the driver's side, you can just shimmy over here and get out the passenger side. You have full access to pass through. Also in the limited trim, you have the relaxation seat, which means you can go ahead and push a button. It'll kick out a little thigh support rest, lean the seat back, and you can get in a real comfortable position if you're sitting and charging for a little while. Thanks to the three meter wheelbase of this vehicle, the back seat passengers have a ton of leg room. Even with somebody that's tall seated in the front seat, there's still plenty of space in the back seat. Going along with comfort is quietness. The windshield, the front windows, as well as the back seat windows are all double glazed, meaning it is two pieces of glass with a adhesive or plastic film between them, which really helps cut down on exterior noise, namely wind noise at highway speeds. You can be in here on the highway and it's just so comfortable and quiet and all that wind noise just really doesn't cut through like it does in other cars, namely gas cars. When I go back to driving a gas car, it is almost unbearably loud compared to something like this. Now I know that's just a side effect of pretty much any EV, but I've been in some other EVs where the wind noise is just a little bit more. So if I ever buy another EV, having double glazed windows is going to be a necessity for me. The car is also filled with lots of sound deadening material, namely in the trunk area as well as the door panels, so that also helps with cutting down on noise. The fifth and final reason I think you should consider getting an Ionic 5 is just the power it has. The Ionic 5 has 320 horsepower, 446 pound-feet of torque, does 0 to 60 between 4.7 and 5 seconds, which is more than enough speed for most people. Now, I know it's not the fastest EV on the market, but for daily use commuting, this car is more than quick enough to get you where you need to go. Where it's really useful is where you have really short on-ramps. Here in Connecticut, we have the Merritt Parkway, and you have some on-ramps from these small little towns along the Connecticut shoreline that are maybe 200 feet, 300 feet long tops, and they have stop signs, so you have to come to a complete stop before merging. And I will say that getting on from any of these on-ramps is rickety split and it's so much safer. There's people that merge onto this highway in old cars that take seven, eight, nine seconds to get up to 55, 60 miles per hour. So being able to just floor this thing and get up to 55, 60 miles per hour in three seconds, three and a half seconds 
it's just great in those situations. Now, I know that's not a common occurrence around the country. A lot of places have very long on-ramps, so it's not really a big problem, but here in Connecticut, that is a great use case. One of my favorite things to do is to get people who've never been in an EV in this car, say I'll bring some coworkers out to lunch, I'll put them in the passenger seat, and I will just punch it on an on-ramp, and just hearing their reaction, seeing their reaction, it is just so much fun. And I really think that's one of the best ways to influence people into considering EVs, just showing them how much fun you can have with them. Sure, there's environmental benefits, sure there's cost-saving benefits, but they are just so much more fun to drive than any other gas car you've ever driven. The instant torque is just uncomparable. So I love doing that with passengers, and I know a lot of you other Ionic 5 owners and other EV owners probably love it just as much as me. So that's my list for the top five reasons why I think you should consider buying an Ionic 5. If you're an Ionic 5 owner, let me know down in the comment section, what are your top five reasons why you recommend the Ionic 5? I'm sure there's some differing opinions compared to mine, and I'm really interested to hear yours. You might have seen in a recent video I made about this automatic door locking module that I began selling in my store. And what this little module does is when all the doors of the Ionic 5 are shut, within 10 seconds, all doors will automatically lock. And the reason this is a big deal is because Hyundai, Kia, Genesis just don't have this feature. So I found this module and I started selling it in my store, and I was originally selling it as a kit that you had to splice into the factory wiring harness under the passenger seat. Well, with the help of an EV6 owner, I was able to find the exact connector that Hyundai uses for their trailer light wiring harness in the trunk area. You don't have to splice anything. And EV6 owners, it's even easier for you because you don't have to take any of the plastic wall panels apart in the trunk area, like the Ionic 5. You have a door built into the side of your cargo area, and the male connector that attaches to this lives right in that little opening. So you can literally just pop that plastic door open, plug this thing in, and then you have the auto lock module ready to rock and roll. And Ionic 5 owners, I still think this is going to be the preferred method of installation for the auto lock module if you do decide to install it. So like I said, I am sourcing these connectors directly from the manufacturer, the same manufacturer that makes all of the connectors for Hyundai. And I'm building this adapter myself. I'm testing every single one in my personal Ionic 5 for quality and to make sure it works before I ship it out. So if you are interested, be sure to check the link down below to my website, ionicguy.com. If you're in the US, if you're outside of the US, check out my Etsy shop for more details. I'll also leave a link below to the instructions, which also include a link to a video show Showing you how to install it in an Ionic 5, so be sure to check that out before you go ahead and place an order just to see if it's something you want to take on. And if you did already purchase the auto lock module before I released this version, I am selling the adapter in my store as well. You can just buy this and remove the existing wires and then this will just plug right on in to the module. A lot of you have been asking, am I going to make a splitter for people who have the trailer wiring harness already installed? No, I am not. It opens me up to too much liability that I'm not willing to take on. It's either this or trailer lights, or you can purchase the kit that has the wire taps to tap into whichever harness in the car that you would like to. Namely, you could tap into the trailer light wiring harness, or you could use any of the wiring harnesses under the passenger seat, which I show in one of my instruction manuals. And another shameless plug, I do have a new cheaper version of the magnetic eyewear holder for your vehicle. These are half price for my regular eyewear holder that I've been selling for a couple years now. And they're a little bit different. They hold your glasses backwards with the lens facing the magnetic pad. This works on the Ionic 5, obviously, and the new Kona Electric. It has a similar magnetic area next to the driver display. And you can even put them on your refrigerator or anything that is a ferrous metal if you just want to store your glasses somewhere. So thanks for watching today's list. Be sure to subscribe so you can check out my top five reasons not to consider an Ionic 5, which comes out next weekend. So anyway, guys, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody. Thank you.